dead mean. All right, so let me know if this sounds familiar. You're playing stationers, you're relatively new, you're about to run out of oxygen and water, you don't have time to build this monstrosity nor the materials. So how about I show you something that you could build very early game with basically just the auto lathe and the pipe bender. So let's move into that. All right, so you'll need a few kits to do this. You'll need the atmosphere kit. This is a little bit optional. The ice crusher is a must. You'll need a canister fill, some liquid pipe, a water bottle fill station, and some various lengths of pipe for gases. So we'll just step into the first phase. These, oh, this also requires power, so you'll need to take care of that as well. And my trusty bucket of construction components. All right, so with the welder and the wooden sheets, or the metal sheets rather, the copper coil, which I did not put in correctly. There we go. So the ice crusher is done. We'll quickly get a little bit of power out to it. So uh, I did a tutor tutorial on running wire. If you want to see that, I'll just let you go check that out. All right, so I've run a little bit of wire and whatnot and set this up for the future demonstration but so this is our ice crusher the water and liquids are going to come out the bottom and the top is where the gases are going to come out of so let's just take a quick look at what's under there so you have so you can see the uh the difference so notice the connections are different this one's indicative of water that is for gas right so you'll just roll the mouse wheel then hit c till you get the shape you want same thing with the gas. If you have a pipe wrench in hand, you can edit the pipes without uh, taking them apart. And our last component will throw you down. And the canister we wish to fill. Here we go. And now all I need is the water filter or the water bottler. So it does require power. Don't forget to turn it on. And you'll throw your water bottle in there. I don't have any uh, water ice to show power you. Low. But I can show you the station a little bit later upstairs that's got water in it. So we've got a little area up here for hydroponics, which is handling our water. So you'll throw water ice on top and it will fill up a reservoir. Basically, if you look here, you can see there's a temperature and a pressure. But water gets ejected pretty much immediately into whatever vessel is available. So as you can see, my water bottle is on. I've got a water bottle at 87 or 84%. Just throw it in for a second, and it's full again. It doesn't take much ice to build up pressure for the beginning of the game. You'll probably be okay with probably a stack for quite a while. All right, so for this next part, I recommend a tablet of some kind. And you'll need one of these. Atmos analyzers. This will let you see what's in the pipes and how hot they are, that sort of thing. Becomes a big deal a bit later, but let's just step into the next phase. The canister is empty, and so we'll open up the mining belt. I've got an example of all the ices except for water. Uh, this is silver, don't mind him. So there's oxide, which primarily contains oxygen and other gases. There's uh, nitrous, which contains a, a lot of nitrogen. Volatiles, uh, which I believe is hydrogen and some other nasty things you don't want to breathe. So what we're looking to do is we're looking to get oxygen out of this ice. So if we toss it in there and turn it on. And just so you're aware, um, if you have ice in your mining belt and you throw it into, into this machine, um, it won't melt if you like hold down Alt and drag it in. But if you try to hold it in your hand and drop it in while in the direct sunlight or anywhere where the temperature is not nil, you will your your ice will melt. So it's yeah, I would have melted ice and it would be useless. All right, so moving on, as you can see, we got almost all oxygen out of this, which is which is great. It's not terrible. There is one issue though. If you look at your EVA suit, you have these like all these little uh, filter cartridges. The only ones I have are CO2 because I'm breathing pure oxygen. If you add nitrogen into your oxygen system, you're going to need to put a nitrogen filter in there because the nitrogen will not enter the waste canister if you don't, and it causes a bunch of oxygen warnings and things like that. 
So just keep that in mind. If you end up, if you go with this route without a filter, you're going to need to go upstairs to your auto lathe or not your um, pipe bender and print yourself up a filter for the undesired gas. So just keep in mind, if you're breathing O2, all you need are CO2s. All right, since we mentioned filters, we might as well show you where they come from. This is the, the uh, pipe bending machine. This is the tier two version. The, uh, the tier one version will build these as well. So I just simply need, you'll, you'll need this if you're gonna put it in your suit, but I wanna filter out oxygen. So I'll just print that up and then I'll re return to the setup and you'll see what I'm doing. All right, so we'll get the atmosphere kit in hand. We'll right click and just roll the mouse wheel until eventually you come across filtration. And so as you can see on it, there's a in for a gas and there's two outs and there's some other slots in there. I'll show you those in a moment, but let's just quickly pop this thing down and move on to the next part. I'll hook up the pipes. I'll come back and explain it. All right, so we've added filtration. This improves the system so you can get those nasty uh, trace elements out of your breathing tank, or you'll need to make more filters to put in your spacesuit. So I put a filter in this machine. I put an oxygen filter, and what that will do is will allow oxygen and only oxygen to pass into this container. Everything else will be pushed into this tube, and this tube goes into the hard vacuum. So this is a bit of a wasteful system, but at the end of the day, you need to breathe. So <laughs> I'm going to set up for showing you how it works and we'll be back. Okay, let's flip on the filter. It spins up, it's green, no errors. The ice crusher is good to go. It is daytime, so do not put the ice in your hand. Hold down alt and left and drag and put it into the machine. And now... Let's get our tablet out and see. Yeah, see how it's only oxygen now? So let's uh, put a tank in there. It'll be empty. Now, so there's something to keep in mind. Um, it won't be able to push all of the pressure into this tank. It basically equalizes. There's some gizmos and stuff that can be added to this system to make it so that um, that it, it can push more pressure into the pipe, but that also requires power, more parts. If we're more discussing, you need to survive one more day. So while we're here, let's throw this nitrous ore in here. And nitrous contains nitrogen and nitrous oxide. But as you can see, nothing, none of that nitrogen, none of that contaminant is getting in. So to put that, to keep this in mind, like nitrogen is not a bad gas, like we're about to create an atmosphere. And as you can see, we're using nitrogen. It's just in your suit without a nitrogen filter, you cannot evacuate the nitrogen into your waste tank, which will prevent you from breathing. You'll get oxygen warnings. So while we're here, let's quickly discuss uh, handling ice during the day. So you can handle ice during the day by being in a nice cool shaded spot if you look in the bottom right corner you could see the temperature is nil which means it'll definitely be cold enough to handle ice so we'll take two of those and see i can touch them without them melting so i'm just going to split one off and hold it in my hand and go in the sun and it disappears so ice handling during the day a bit more complicated it can be done all right, so words of warning, these pipes do have a maximum pressure. You can put meters on them and it'll give you a general idea. These canisters also have a maximum pressure, but for the most part, I just don't let anyone get above 10, like 10 megapascals, because everything seems to work. No one explodes. And while we're here, we might as well talk about water. So water has a temperature and it sounds dumb, but it does matter especially when you've got a hydroponic farm going on inside of your little base there. So out here, it's colder than in there. So it's kind of balancing out the, uh, it's kind of like in between the two temperatures, the room is like 26 degrees and the put and out here is ridiculously low. So it's getting to sit at 17. And if this water falls below five, it'll kill plants. I believe above 60 kills plants. So 
when you're trying to use an ice crusher like this, you could use a system to heat up the water. But, you know, again, like, do you really... Like, it's the beginning of the game. Do you have time to take to care for all of that? So all I do is make sure that most of the pipe is in a room that's warm enough and throw ice in small increments. And, like, this is our water machine. It doesn't do anything else. And see, the temperature does drop, but it's not enough to, to upset the system and kill your plants. So I don't know if drinking really, drinking really cold water is bad, but I know really cold water is bad for your plants. So just keep that in mind. All right, just a quick refresh or recap. All the components you need are going to come out of this pipe bender machine, or this hydraulic uh, pipe bender. You're going to need an ice kit, some pipes, water and gas. Uh, you're going to need a, a canister fill station and a water bottle fill station. Some of these things you're going to already have. The uh, atmosphere kit comes from here as well. You'll need some wire which comes from the electro print or the auto lathe. And basically, if you don't filter out gases and put them into the tank you're breathing, make sure you make filters and put them in your EVA suit to filter out the stuff that's not oxygen, so if you have pure oxygen, like the method I showed you, all you need is a CO2 filter. Uh, nitrous oxide, if that gets into your tank, uh, you're pretty much screwed. It's like anything above like 5%, even with a filter, is going to like put you to sleep. It's obnoxious. So try not to throw any nitrous into your system until you're ready to filter it out. So hopefully that's helpful. If I should add something or if something i've missed that you think would help some people out you know comment throw it down there and i'll try to pin it so you know, everyone can get the benefit of that knowledge and of course uh, if you would like to uh, subscribe or throw a like on it or share whichever you know hopefully i can uh, grow the channel and keep making videos for newcomers to games or maybe even more advanced tutorials in the future